welcome back to my channel, Josephine here. So today I want to do a bit of a different video because it's a new year, we're developing new habits, we're all being healthy, going to the gym, and with that in mind, I wanted to think about fragrances in a new way as well for this video. So this video is a first impressions on a sustainable fragrance brand called Hermetica. So I discovered this brand in Harvey Nichols here in London and I have a discovery box here as well as some samples that I wanted to give you my first impressions on. So if you're interested in knowing what my thoughts are on the brand then please keep watching. Before we get into the video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post out new videos. Okay so first off I did a bit of research into Hermetica and to really understand what the brand is about and what it believes in. So Hermetica is a brand that was founded really recently in 2018 by Clara Malloy and her husband John who actually are the founders of Memo Paris, which is, you may know now, one of my favorite niche brands, as well as Floreku, which is another project that they developed. So they have three brands. And already you can tell that, you know, from Memo and Floreku, Hermetica is probably going to be a high quality brand as well. So the idea behind the brand is that it's eco-friendly and sustainable. And they're conscious in terms of the ingredients that they use, in the perfumes. Um, they're not fully natural but they do use synthetics as well and there's nothing wrong with that but they're conscious about the sourcing of ingredients and also they're giving back to the environment. So one of the things I found really interesting and really nice is that if you end up purchasing a full-size product with them, so a full-size bottle of fragrance, then they will plant a tree which I think is great. There's not many brands that are giving back like this and you know, kudos to them for doing that. Not only do they give back to the environment, but also their bottles are refillable and they're made of recycled glass, which is fantastic. Their fragrances are cruelty free and very interesting, they are alcohol free. So they have a patented technology which enables them to create alcohol free fragrances but they're also moisturizing, so there's that added benefit there. But most importantly, what this technology does is that it enables you to smell the heart of the perfume. So you're able to smell the top and base notes at the same time. So therefore, when you spray the fragrance, you don't need to wait until the alcohol evaporates. You get the immediate result of the scent on your skin. So you know what to expect when you spray this on your skin. So the concept behind the fragrance is that they view perfume as alchemy, so they'll mix natural and synthetic ingredients together and there will be a chemical optimization between the fragrance and your skin. So I feel that this is quite a different approach to perfume and really innovative. In terms of format and pricing, the fragrances come in 100ml and it goes for £155 and 50ml for £105. Now one thing that I want to highlight is that Emetica provide lots of samples and there's so much opportunity to trial their product. I think that is great, I feel that more brands should be doing this. Just to give you an idea, there's a discovery set online that's worth £25 and you get all of their fragrances within the collection. So it's great, they're making it accessible to everybody and you know you can really spend time with the fragrances, trial, it, trial them in different situations and potentially find one that you really like and you can purchase. So they have a collection currently of 14 cents and they're grouped into floral, green, woody, and oriental categories. There is one scent called Source One, which is, you can purchase the scent on its own, but it's actually found in every single perfume as well, which is another interesting little fact. So today I have this discovery set here. I believe it's the floral set. So there is Rosefire, Multi Lotus, Mega Flower, and Source One, which is the fragrance that's present in all the perfumes. So there's four fragrances in here, and I have two others. One is Vertical Oud, which I believe is a bestseller for them, and Patchouli Light. So let's get right into discovering these perfumes together. So let's begin with the flowers. Now this comes in a box like this, and let me open it. How gorgeous is this packaging? So let's open this up. Okay, so this is a 
box here. This is what the box looks like. And then let me just reveal it. Ooh, how nice is that? So here you have a little booklet with the information on the fragrances. And then your perfumes look like this. Gorgeous packaging. I love it. All right, so let's begin with the first scent, which is Rose Fire. Let me just get some blotters and we can get into this review. So, Rose Fire. Right, let me turn to the page actually in the booklet that will give information on this scent. Ah, there we go. This love letter, as green as a rose, this beloved green rose will smolder in the fire. I am Rose Fire. Okay. And the notes in here are a floral violet molecule, rose absolute, and divana essence. All right, so let's see what this smells like. Ooh, this is quite nice. Ooh, I like this. Oh my goodness, so this smells very similar to the uh, dry body oil that I have that I actually recommended in my wish list for Christmas. It's the dry body oil from a body oil from Beauty 1803, the rose one that has um, ginger and vetiver, and it smells like this actually. This is so nice. I didn't know there was going to be a fragrance like this. Oh, I love this. I'm really into this perfume. It is a fresh, light, rosy, a bit musky scent, and I can definitely detect the violet in here. It's a bit powdery and soft, very enjoyable. It's a bit vintage, but fresh at the same time. Okay, so what about the next one? The next one is called Mo Multi Lotus, and let's get into this. So, oh, also the images in this little booklet are stunning. So this, let me show you the rose one. This is the rose one, and then this is Multi Lotus. So stunning images. So Mo Multi Lotus, soft water whisper. Multi-light, multi-shine, multi-colors, multi-eyes, multi-hands, multi-tempo, multi-dance, multi-clothes, multi-you, multi-me, multi-kiss, multi-soft, multi-love, multi-lotus. Wow, that was a really, really long description. Wow, okay. Uh, and the notes in here are bergamot, a floral fresh molecule, and osmanthus absolute. Okay. So, let's have a look at that. Oh, this is very, very osmanthus. Wow, interesting. It's a fresh floral that, to my nose, has a lot of osmanthus in it. It is, it's not leathery though, in terms of the osmanthus. It's more like apricot-like. It's a bit fruity. It's a bit fresh and floral. It's a very feminine scent. Actually, the other one is also very feminine. I don't know if it would be fragrances that men would like, necessarily. If I compare the two, the Rose Fire is <clears throat> much stronger than this one. This perfume, the Multi Lotus, is on the softer side. It's more subtle, but it's nice. Like, it's nice. I don't know if I would wear it, but it's nice. Then. There is Mega Flower. So Mega Flower is a orange flower overdose. Orange, orange flower, flower central power, power, passion, petal rose, rose plus rise plus blow. Don't know what that is. Blowing, wanting, whispering, yes. Mega yes, mega, mega flower, mega flow. There's orange flower, there's vetiver, and orange blossom molecule. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is really orange. This, the bottle here is crazy orange and it stains the blotter orange. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. It's floral, but it has a powdery touch. It has a bit of like a vintage, powdery, like, like eau de toilette orange blossom feel. Quite traditional actually. And clean, a bit soapy. Yeah, it's clean, soapy, traditional orange blossom. F 
and fresh. So actually, Mega Flower reminds me a little bit of the soaps that I could find at the farmer's market when I was younger in the south of France. It kind of has that clean, simple, yet effective and really lovely scent, which just, you know, brings me back to my childhood. And so for me, it has a bit of a comforting feel. There's a light sweetness to it and, and fresh. Yeah, I love this. This is really nice. Okay. And the last scent in here is the Source One. So let's have a look at what Source One smells like. So Source One is the opening elixir. So like I said, it's the fragrance that is present in all of the, the, the perfumes. So the description here is, silence opens your conscience. Some people are unique, rare, charming. So you, so him, so her, so chic, so me. Sour Source, I am Source. So this is, I guess, a very inclusive scent based on the description. There's dry amber molecule, bergamot essence, and fresh wood molecule. So I feel like this is a skin scent. So let's let's see. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, it's 100% a skin scent. It's um it's very similar to eccentric molecules. I would say perhaps molecule one. But it's more citrusy, it's woody, musky. A bit ambery and very unisex. So this is this this is their skin scent. I believe you can layer these, you can layer this with the other fragrances. So yeah, a good skin scent. Whether I would invest in it, probably not, because there's a lot already that exist on the market. Unless you want a perfume that is alcohol free, then yeah, this is a good one to check out. Okay, so now let's go on to the other two samples that I have. So we have the patchouli light, which I believe is part of the Woody collection and then the Vertical Oud, which is part of the Oriental collection. So, Patchouli Light. Now, Patchouli Light is ultraviolet wood. It is patchouli, atomic, tree, citrus, high, obvious, ultraviolet, lust, ingredients, green, hours, and time. Okay, that's the description. And in terms of notes, there's patchouli, violet, and lemon rose molecule. Okay, interesting. This scent isn't for me. It's There's too much patchouli in here. I think for a patchouli lover, you'll like this, but to me, it's there's too much patchouli. But it's too it's very earthy, a bit wet. Um, I get a rose in here. The rose is nice. It kind of softens the patchouli. I don't get much violet. I essentially get rose and patchouli. So if you like rose and patchouli, then this could be a good a good perfume. But for me, it's it's... It's not what I would typically go for. And finally, we have Vertical Oud, which is one of their best-selling scents. And the description for Vertical Oud is heat and vertigo. Vertigo, inflamed, rose, tension, instinct, claw, animal, lightning, oud, you, dangerous. Mmm, I like that, okay. So there's rose oil, oudic ord, vibrant amber molecule. So interesting. I love this brand. It's so cool. <gasps> this is amazing, guys. Yes, and yes, and yes. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It is really opulent. It is musky. It is oud. It is mysterious. It smells amazing. Wow, this is my favorite out of all the perfumes I've tried today. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. I can see why this is a bestseller. Yeah, it's woody. It's ambery. It's a, there's a bit of a sweetness to it and an addictiveness. It's a bit addictive. I don't know if it's coming from the amber or if they added uh, or from the rose. I'm not sure. It. It. You know what? This reminds me a little bit of a Fragrance du Bois perfume. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below if you agree. I feel that this would be a, such a nice nighttime scent. And I feel, in my opinion, that this scent would get people a lot of compliments and is very likable. Okay, so now that I've smelt the fragrances, I will give you my verdict. So in terms of the floral collection, the perfume that I preferred the most was Rosefire. And that's because 
I like the association between rose and violet. It's floral, it's a bit powdery, and again, something that's a bit oriental as well, so it's like an oriental rose. The other two, so um, I believe Multi Lotus to me lacks a bit of personality. It's not a scent that I'm particularly drawn to, whilst the Mega Flower is, it's a nice scent, it's a clean scent, and it has a bit of a soapy feel. For me, I like it because it's familiar, but whether I would purchase it, I don't know. I prefer the Rose Fire for sure. Now in terms of the other two fragrances, I think the winner is very clear, it's Vertical Oud. And actually, out of all the perfumes today, Vertical Oud is the one that I like the most. I'm going to test this out a little bit longer because this is this could actually end up in my collection. It's really nice, it's sexy, it's sensual, it's I feel it would be a crowd pleaser and great for both men and women and I feel this would be such a nice nighttime scent. So that was my take on Hermetica fragrances and the brand. I hope you enjoyed discovering these fragrances as much as I did. I'm going to definitely go in store and test the other collections because I find that the concept is very different and innovative. And let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of the Hermetica fragrances, if you've tried the ones that I tested today, or if you tested other ones. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. I hope you have a great Sunday and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye! If you'd like to see more detailed fragrance reviews, make sure you check out my blog at judorose.com and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any posts. I also create healthy dessert recipes inspired by fragrances and some candle DIY projects where I share the exact perfume formula so you can recreate them at home. Thanks again for watching!